warning, the video presented today is aimed more towards the newer players, the returning players, and open-minded players that likes this sort of video. This video is not intended for those pro-veteran players who plays a game every day for 6 to 12 hours a day. With that being said, the following video will totally kick butt. If you enjoyed this video and or have a large ding dong, click the like button below. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here is another top 10 pro tips and tricks to help you get better at the game. No need for a long intro. I'll just plug my social media and stuff at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's begin with tip number one, placing your first aid for your hotbar or the down button on your d-pad. If you guys don't know, there is another way to use your heals and boosters besides opening up your inventory screen. You can press down on the d-pad to cycle through your medications in your inventory. Make sure to have your first aid set for your down d-pad as it will cut a few seconds for healing. This works great in sticky situations where you have to pull off a first aid as soon as possible. Now tip number two, Molotovs over grenades. Now there was a patch that buffed up the effects of Molotovs and now Molotovs are very viable in a lot of in-game scenarios. In my honest opinion, holding more Molotovs will help you better at your gameplay more than grenades due to the grenades having a nerf to them and Molotovs having a quick fire spread to the area that you throw it to. It's also great to have Molotovs because if your opponent gets hit with it, they no longer can aim down sight to shoot you and gives you a greater chance to win that gunfight. Tip number three, prone when being grenaded. Now, like I said in the last tip, the grenades has gotten a significant nerf to them. If you guys didn't know, the higher level your vest is, the less damage you'll take from a grenade. Also, a lot of people doesn't know this, but if you prone when you know you'll get grenaded, it'll do less damage as well. This helps a lot when you're forced to hold up in a house or in a shack and an enemy throws a grenade at you. Tip number four, having throwables during an endgame. Now, since we're in the topic of throwables, it is very important to have throwables on deck during the end game. In my last tips and tricks video, I stated that having grenades will help you win a significant amount of chicken dinners. And although the, that statement is true, having a range of throwables, like at least one of each kind, really helps you out to get the upper hand on your opponent. For example, stun grenades will completely blind your opponent and deafen them, so they won't be able to see or hear you coming. Small grenades are great as decoys if you're out in the open field and or need to change positions. Grenades, although it has gotten nerfed, still packs a big punch to the en enemy and deals a lot of great damage. And of course the Molotovs burns your enemy alive and is really good. Molotovs are the best. I've been loving Molotovs a lot. Don't at me. Tip number five, don't cut your parachute. Now during the beginning of the game, everyone will be parachuting to a certain area of the map. And a lot of people like to cut their parachute because they think that since they're, they're, they're going to be the first one to touch the floor, they'll be the first to grab a weapon. Now, ladies and gen gentlemen, this isn't necessarily the case. When you cut your parachute, there's still that cut lag of when you cut the parachute to when your feet touches the ground and you'll be stunned when you do hit the ground. So that being said, you won't be unable to move at all. As where if you don't cut your parachute, you'll be either able to run right away or do a little tumble roll, which still is faster than having that cut lag when you cut your parachute. Tip number six, play team deathmatch for warmups. It's no secret that the key of getting better at PUBG is to know the recoil of your gun, how to win close, medium, and ranged fights, and have the vast knowledge on each of the single type of weapon ammo category. Now I said this before that Cam Jacko is the best way to help with your recoil for each gun that you want to work with and that is still the case to this day but having the reflexes to actually shoot players who can die is more important than just shooting at a wall or other players in Cam Jackal. Team Deathmatch helps with all ranges of gunfights and helps with reaction time depending on what your class what class you're using in Team Deathmatch. My suggestion is to play a few team death matches before going to the battlegrounds. I mean, hell, if you're really serious about getting better at a, at PUBG in a shortest amount of time, go to Camp Jackal first for at least 30 minutes a day to help with your recoil control, and then go to team deathmatch to help with your gunfights and reaction time for mid, close, and long range, and everything like that. 
tip number seven don't hug the trees yeah why did i say it like that don't hug the trees in my last tips and tricks video i stated that trees are the worst cover to hide behind and that's still true but pubg is a type of game where maybe being behind a tree is your only of only way of cover if that's the case make sure not to be flat out behind the tree where your face is kissing the face of the tree take a few steps back you'll still be you'll still have cover from the enemy in front of you and if you're playing in third person perspective you'll be able to see your enemy coming to you a lot faster than if you're hugging the tree in front of you it also helps that if you peek left and right less of your body will be seen for your opponent which makes you a harder target to hit so make sure there's space between you and the tree make make it seem like a social distancing from you and the tree too soon sorry well anyway tip number eight learning or practicing leaning and shooting at the same time now speaking of being a harder target to hit leaning left and right while shooting an enemy in the face is one of those skills in pubg which does take a lot more practice to do believe me ladies and gentlemen when i say this i've been playing this game for over two years now and i still struggle to consistently lean left and right while still being able to be on target on my enemy you don't have to lean left and right in a fast pace in order for this to be effective though but knowing when to do this will help you win more gunfights some PUBG players I know who does this very well is Big Red Cliffy, as you know another PUBG YouTuber and streamer, and Demonic Teddy. Every time I spectate Teddy, he's always doing the lean feature where he leans left and right while aiming at a person and he always wins the gunfight, unless there's lag involved. <laughs> They're great at leaning while shooting and Brolic is also a great person to watch to be to the leaning and shooting tactic. Even though he doesn't play PUBG anymore, you can look at his YouTube videos. He, you could see that every gunfight he has with like his M4, he, he leans left and right while shooting. And again, go to Team Deathmatch to practice this. As it, and if at first you don't succeed, keep trying. It does take a long time. It does take a whole lot of hours of playing PUBG. But trust me when I say it does help out a lot. Now, tip number nine is quick leans while shooting from cover. Now since we're on the topic of leans and shooting mechanics, another mechanic that helps a lot is quick peeking while in cover before shooting an enemy in the face. Now this isn't Pudgy's fault, I know they have a lot of faults with their game, and I'm pretty sure that every first person shooting game has this type of problem due to the frames on which this occurs. But when peeking to hit an enemy, 9 times out of 10, by the way ladies and gentlemen totally didn't make up that statistics. But, 9 times out of 10, the person being the aggressor will win that mid to long range gunfight. Now if you still don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you guys a scenario here. So you have two snipers fighting from a long distance away. Both are equal in skill, both, but one sniper likes to hard peek, waiting for the other guy to peek back, while the other sniper doesn't hard peek and quickly peeks in and out waiting for the right moment to shoot. Now 9 times out of 10, the quick peek leaner will win that gun battle due to on his screen able to see his enemy's face before the hard peeker can react to shoot his gun now like i said before this happens to all first person shooting games and this is a mechanic for just those type of games where the aggressor or the person who is peeking less often will win that gunfight majority of the time and tip number 10 playing with confidence now for the final tip, this will have to do more with your mental mindset more than anything. It's like in real life stuff, you know? If you're confident, then you'll have much uh, you have a much better chance and opportunity to do what you have set in your mind. Same goes for PUBG. I've noticed that majority of the time that I don't win or I'm doing per poorly is because I wasn't confident in my decision making. It's still something I have to work on, of course, but when I'm in a rhythm and my groove is on, I feel more confident, which helps me challenge more gunfights and get more chicken dinners and higher kills in the game of PUBG. Even if you're a new player, you know, you do have to work on, you know, your the, the basics first, like, you know, your recoil control, your reflexes, know when to push, you know, that all comes from experience. But if you have that confidence while, you know, learning the game, then you'll be better on in PUBG in a quicker rate than somebody who isn't confident and has been playing this game for a long time. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is my top 10 pro tips and tricks by your boy Brent Bryson once more. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and might as well hit that notification bell. It is greatly appreciated. And follow me on Twitch. I told you I'm going to plug in my social media at the end of the video. So if you guys made it this far, type down in the comment section below what other things you want me to talk about and what things you need help with. Uh, Brent Bryson 15 is my Twitch. You could talk to me on there or just comment down in the comment section. I always reply to every single comment. And always remember, guys, I love you all. Have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you guys are watching this. And stay beautiful. Much love. Slug Nation out. Mwah.